Yo, what's up guys, home, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today's video, I'm going to show you the most advanced FPS boost pack in Fortnite Chapter 3. I'm going to show you how to speed up your PC overall, the best stretch resolutions and some extra tools to just gain the least amount of input delay and maximum FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would upload so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my new FPS boost pack and all you guys gotta do is click it on the first one, you can already see it here, FPS boost pack, just simply click onto it and it will redirect you to the next side. They're gonna just like scroll down a little bit where you can see now this download button which we're going to press now as well and now it should redirect you here to my FPS boost pack which you can get straight up here from Google Drive but I obviously already have it on my PC so I just unwrapped it here onto my PC and then we're gonna open it up and in there we can see three files. One is CPU boost, game configs, and low delay tools. And what I want you to do in the first place is click on the CPU boost and install parkcontrol 64exe This is like literally the best program guys when it comes down to boosting your CPU speed and we're just gonna launch it here already in the background guys. And what you can see here now pretty much is we have a CPU settings here for our power profile and you can see I already selected here Bitsim highest performance mode. This is the best one guys, don't go for like high performance, power saving, quick CPU seam or some other stuff guys, Bitsim highest performance. That's the one you're looking for. Just make sure that everything is running on 100% and what this tool will pretty much do is it's gonna make sure that your CPU is running at 100% and none of your cores are actually parked. You can see here 16 from my 16 cores are working at 100% guys. They're pushed to the maximum on my Ryzen 7 3700X. Um, 3.59 gigahertz is the maximum which is recommended so therefore the program is just gonna make sure that it's running at 100% you're not losing out on any performance and this is safe on any PC guys like don't be worried there and what you're gonna do now is then click onto power options and it's gonna automatically redirect you here where you can choose your custom power plan and as you can see for me it's already selected here Bitsum highest performance one provides Bitsum optimized CPU performance but since we already put it in the program to maximum performance it's just gonna put it on that one you know what I'm saying guys and if you don't see it instantly you maybe have to click here on to show additional plans you know and that should be in there but as you can see for me it's selected so i can close it and then we can also click here on to ok and once we're done with it guys you can straight up uninstall this program it doesn't have to be running in the background 24 7 and now let's continue with the next steps and you can see guys we have now here the best game configs and once we're in here guys we can see now that we have two files here best com config and low end pc and for low end pc guys i just put in a really good stretch resolution for low end pcs and already optimized the whole entire game user settings for low-end PCs and you can see here we have a resolution of 1024 times 768 this is still like a really good resolution especially for low-end PCs your picture is not going to be too bad but yeah it's definitely going to give you like a FPS advantage so therefore just simply you can replace it if you need that one or you're going to go for the best con config one and you can see it in there I actually applied my own personal best stretch resolution which is 1722 times 1070 and I also applied some changes to the config itself so let's just say that we want to apply any of those here we're just simply gonna actually drag it here onto our desktop guys so we have it here the game user settings and then in here we're gonna click here onto this space here type in presenter temp presenter and open it up then we're gonna click onto local press F on our keyboard for Fortnite game save config Windows client and then we have those old game user settings which we just straight up can actually um, delete here and then we drag in the new ones and um, just additional guys to make sure that you don't change them by accident make sure that the ad root read only is checked here guys super important and with that said we're already done here as well and for the final step guys we have here low delay tools and i just can say guys filter keys is still by far the best low latency tool which you can utilize on your windows 11 or windows 10 pc and we're just gonna straight up run this program and you can see here on stock usually the settings should be like 100 100 100 but i just straight up put like a screenshot in here actually where i'm going to show you all of the best settings and how to set it up properly so therefore yeah we're just gonna put it here actually next to each other and you can already see ignore under zero zero ignore under zero milliseconds repeat delay 150 milliseconds repeat rate 25 milliseconds and on the right side you only have to make sure that on and available is checked all the other ones should be unchecked guys and then you're gonna click onto apply but you're not gonna click onto ok you're just simply gonna let this run in the background while actually launching fortnite guys yeah so therefore every time you want to run fortnite you just pretty much take this tool here and put it somewhere on your desktop so you can find it easily you know what i'm saying and yeah then it should be all like fine just simply let it run in the background just simply let it run in the background the same as timer set resolution but as mentioned filter keys is a hundred times better helping you to make sure that your keyboard is as responsive as possible 
And with that said, we're already done here with this step as well. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four, oh, come get inside. Dami Gucci, Lee, come take a dive. Kill that shit, but this.